Imagine uncovering hidden vulnerabilities in a network with just a few commands. Today, we're diving into one of the most powerful tools in a hacker's toolkit, Nmap. Stay tuned to learn how to scan a metasploitable machine using Kali Linux. This is essential knowledge for anyone interested in cybersecurity. Hello and welcome to the Ultra Blue channel. Today, We'll be diving deep into the world of network security by exploring how to scan a metasploitable machine using Nmap on Kali Linux. This tutorial is part of our educational series aimed at enhancing your cybersecurity skills. So, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Let's get started. To begin, Open up Terminal in Kali Linux. You can do this by clicking on the Terminal icon or by pressing Ctrl, Alt, and T. So let's go ahead and close the first one up. First, let's confirm that Nmap is installed on our system. It's going to be pre-installed on every single Kali Linux distribution, but to confirm if Nmap is actually installed and working on your machine, simply type in Nmap space dash dash version and hit enter so if nmap is installed on your pc you should see a version information displayed if not you could simply install nmap by typing in sudo apt get install nmap so i already have nmap installed so i'm not going to run this command now that we have nmap ready, let's proceed to identify the IP address of our metasploitable machine. You must ensure that both your Kali Linux and metasploitable machine are on the same network. So to this, let me quickly log into my metasploitable machine by typing msf admin and msf admin. Those are the default name and password for your metasploitable machine. Now let me go ahead and find my metasploitable machine's IP address. So I have config and then I have my IP address displayed. 192.168.137.129. Great. So let's now go back to our Kali Linux machine. This is where most of the action is actually going to take place. So with our IP address in hand, we can now begin scanning the metasploitable machine using Nmap. Nmap offers a variety of scanning options, from basic pin scans to detailed scan with vulnerability scan. We'll start with a simple pin scan to check if the metasploitable machine is up and running. So to do this, simply type in Nmap space, you tag with an S N followed by the IP address of the metasploitable machine, which was 192.168.137.129. I believe this was it. Then we hit enter. Great. So our Nmap result simply came in and it's telling us that our host is up. Let me go ahead and copy this IP address so, the, so I don't have to type it again off head. Before we continue, let us let me explain what the SN flag simply means. The SN flag tells Nmap to perform a ping scan, which simply checks if the target is up. As you can see, our metasploitable machine is up and running. Next, let's perform a more detailed scan to discover open ports and services. To do this, simply type in Nmap space you tag with an S followed by a capital S. I'm going to explain exactly what these flags mean in our space. F and S, V, followed by the IP address of our metasploitable machine, which I have already copied. So I'm going to hit enter. And they are saying your request, you requested a scan type which requires root privileges. Okay. So for this, you'd have to make sure you are running as root or you use sudo. Then you ask me for my password, I'll type in my password for this machine. And then Nmap is going to go ahead and do the scan. So as it does the scan, let's go over what these tags mean. So the first tag, which was this tag here, the 
S tag flag. Oh, our scan is in, but let's continue. Our S flag in initiates a still scan, also known as a sync scan, which is fast and less likely to be detected by any firewall. The SV scan over here, the SV scan here tells Nmap to detect the version of the services running on open ports. Now here we can see a list of open ports and the services running on them along with their versions. This information is crucial for understanding the potential vulnerability of the system. So we have our TCP ports all open. We have um, FTP service running which is open and is vulnerable. I mean the services here, we have SSH open, we have Telnet open, we have my SQL open, which you could use my um, a lot of SQL injections in. We have HTTP open. This is actually very interesting, so I think we'll dive deeper into it shortly. Now for even more detailed information, we could use the, the A flag, which enables OS detection and version detection in script section and trace route. So let's use this and see some of the juicy things we could find. So let's go ahead and type in nmap space we'll tag with, an, with a capital A space followed by the IP address of our metasploitable machine. Now, before we run the script, let me just go around whilst we explain. The reason why you are seeing a lot of open ports here is because we are doing the scan against a metasploitable machine. But the exploitable machine is intentionally made to be exploitable. So that's how come you're seeing all these open ports open. If it was an actual network, you would not see this. And if you should see this in an actual network, it would be every hacker's gold mine. Now, our scan just came in. And as you can see, as you can see, the output includes additional information such as um, let's see. Yeah, it includes additional information. Better than the previous scan here, you could see that there's a vast difference. So this comes back telling us that um, we're running a metasploitable machine. It does the OS. It is detected. It is telling us the, the Apache HTTP is current version of the Apache and many 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 other information that will be very useful for anyone trying to break into a network <laughs> again this is a metasploitable machine so it is intentionally made to be vulnerable to even the the the, the easiest of um, i mean exploits so now mmap also allows you to run specific scripts to gather more information or test for vulnerabilities. These scripts are part of nmap scripting engine. So to list the available scripts, let's go ahead and list some of the available scripts for nmap. So to list the available script for nmap, simply type in ls followed by usr followed by share followed by nmap followed by scripts and let's see what we have in the scripts engine wait so as you can see we have a lot of different different types of scripts currently in the nmaps nse as now we have a lot of http scripts which we are going to use one of them to try and exploit our machine here so all these are um lists of scripts currently in the nmap arsenal in which you could use to actually exploit a machine so to run a specific script you could use a script flag followed by the script name for example let's say we wanted to run um, an http enumeration script you could say nmap space followed by let's start with a script space we want to run an http enumeration so http http enum for enumeration followed by the ip address of our metasploitable machine which was 192.168.137.129 now it's going to go ahead and 
do its work and hopefully we could see some information related to the HTTP services running on our Metasploitable machine. So let, let's wait on this scan and see what we get. Great. So the output shows detailed information about the HTTP services running on our Metasploitable machine. This scripts the, this script helps us identify potential vulnerable web applications and um, directories. So it goes again, it goes ahead to tell us that these guys are open. Down, it goes down to, let me enlarge this a bit. Then it goes up here to tell us that, what? We have a lot of interesting folders here. So the enumeration came back telling us that all these are possible admin folders which are which could be accessed and used to change our http website so let's explore more useful scripts for detecting vulnerabilities let's use a von script scan for a variety of known vulnerabilities so let's use um, a, um let's use a command to specify if there's any known vulnerability that can work against our target. So to do this, we're simply going to type in nmap space tag scripts. Oh, let me just take all this out. I don't want to type in the HTTP again. Now we're going to type in vulnerabilities. So vuln for vulnerabilities, and then we'll hit enter. Wait a minute says error let's run it one more time so nmap scripts uh i think i made a mistake with the spelling i think you actually then i hit enter once more great so hopefully the the result we are going to get is hopefully going to list some of the potentially vulnerable services we could exploit once you use the, the scripts tag with the vulnerability attached. So let's wait for it and see what we get. So let's analyze some of the vulnerabilities it had gotten. So let's go to the first part of it. So now it tells us that it has scanned port 120, which is an FT, which is running um, a file transfer protocol service and it's vulnerable. It's vulnerable, the state is vulnerable and it was first discovered um, the vulnerability enables the hacker to get a backdoor into the system it was first discovered in 2011 and then it was closed same way same dates 2011 the same month but port 21 is open and is vulnerable so now let's move on to the next we also have our port 25 which is a smtp port which is also vulnerable it goes ahead to give us more information about the known vulnerability so with all these vulnerabilities shown we could actually exploit the machine using these known vulnerabilities let's explore some other vulnerabilities our machine has found so if we check again uh, this, this is still the same thing great so as you can see our machine is very vulnerable and it's supposed to be vulnerable since we are running a metasploitable machine which is supposed to be vulnerable as you can see again our port 1099 which is also open is vulnerable to summarize we started with a basic ping scan to verify the target status we move on to detailed scans to identify open ports and services and we finally used nmap scripts to gather additional information and detect vulnerabilities these techniques form the foundation of network security and vulnerability assessment. So, thank you for joining us on this detailed journey through scanning a metasploitable machine with Kali Linux and using Nmap. We hope you found this tutorial educational and informative. Don't forget to share and subscribe to the Osho Blue channel for in-depth cybersecurity content. If you have any questions or suggestions, 
please leave them in the comments below until next time stay safe and keep learning